Dilip, uh, what's the big message, right? There's been cross-voting not only in Himachal Pradesh, in Uttar Pradesh, in uh, in Karnataka, the other side, by the way, the BJP has cross-voted. At least one person has stayed away, one person has cross-voted. If the Congress loses Himachal, if DK Shivakumar isn't able to contain this crisis, um, and we don't know yet, if the Congress is effectively nowhere in power in the North. There are larger implications here. Uh, Dilip Charyan, please go ahead. Thank you, Barka. First, uh, in the spirit of full disclosure, Harsh Mahajan, who is one in Himachal, is my brother-in-law. So, having said that, um, yes. as a political analyst, what I have been watching is something that could have been predicted merely by reading the newspapers. The, mm. the fact is that cross-voting, whether it is in Karnataka or in Himachal, takes place after multiple expressions of frustration with the existing state government have happened. Now, the nature of Rajya Sabha voting is that the transparency is instant. Therefore, you know who has cross-voted, who has abstained. It, it would really be politically foolish for anyone to say that they did not expect what happened in Karnataka or what happened in Himachal not to have happened. Now comes the issue of what goes on behind. What goes on behind is that very often, and much too often for a democracy, is the tone deafness of governments once they are elected. They just refuse to wake up and smell the smell cordite, which is going to explode behind them or beneath them and that is really the problem when leaders listen to the sound of what's going on around them for example if you don't know that one of your cabinet colleagues is about to resign then there is definitely a problem in the way a chief minister is running the state if yeah. you don't expect that cross voting will happen in karnataka when people as savvy as DK Shivkumar are in charge of what's going on there, then you should you have no reason to be surprised. So I think we need to understand that we moved into a phase of political double speak across the board. So yeah. that is something that we as watchers, as media and as citizens need to understand and we can choose whether we want to accept it or not by voting yet again. I think those are some great points. And that's what I've been trying to understand, that how could the Congress not have known that there was a problem with Vikramaditya when he attended the Mandir ceremony in defiance of the party line? Like you said, Dilip, uh, and, and thanks for that transparency that Harsh Mahajan is your, your wife's brother. And But the point is larger questions here, right? The larger questions are, the BGP should have also expected this is par for the course in Karnataka, but they're seen. And then I'll come to you, uh, Anurag. I was wondering where you'd gone. I wasn't seeing you on my screen, so it's good to see you now uh, at the seat. You still feeling optimistic about anything? There's a famous uh, song from Itna Jo Muskara Rahe Ho, Kya Gam Hai Jis Kuch Chupa Rahe Ho. Ab how much gum but at the onset, congratulations, Dilip. Uh, while I do want the Congress to win, family's first, brothers, brothers, <laughs> wife's brother is the most important in the family. So <laughs> <about> congratulations. <laughs> Trust me, I know about my wife's brothers. So jokes apart. <laughs> but 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 <laughs> good but, run, but, good <laughs> but but <laughs> go on, go on. but uh, jokes but uh, jokes apart. Look, um, the fact is, and I've said this on your podcast and I'm going to repeat it, the difference between Prime Minister Modi and Rahul Gandhi, if you were to do a man-to-man -man comparison, isn't too much of a difference. Of course, the Prime Minister has a lot more political experience, but Rahul Gandhi is fairly well-read. He, 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 he has knowledge. He's been a parliamentarian for a number of years. All of those things. The massive difference, whether where the difference between the two becomes stark, is the support team of the Prime Minister, Amit Shahji. J.P. Nadda ji, Bupinder Yadav ji. Just look at those men. They are alphas. I don't want to speak anything about this side of the divide. But you Ooh. sometimes wonder what is going on. How do you take on this man on your screen, Amit Shah ji? I mean, he is, or Aditya Nath ji, or J.P. Nadda ji. J.P. Nadda lost Himachal. He's come back and avenged it. Ooh. The minute, the minute you had 
43 uh, MLAs and the BJP with 25 MLAs fielded a former Congress MLA to contest the election. Basic kindergarten politics tells you they are up to something and it's JP Nadda state and he will want to avenge a defeat. It's a state where the prime minister may, uh, said, and I quote the prime minister, do not look at the candidate, look at Lotus and vote for me. This is my second vote. That was, you, your light, your, your bulb should have gone on there. You mm. should have had somebody like a Bupinder Huddain and Ashok Gehlot right then and there because Ashok Gehlot had already helped Mrs. Gandhi sail through. They should have been sitting there right then and there. I understand DK could not have come because DK had to make, ensure that out of the three candidates in Karnataka, one who can who cannot win and whatever he had to do had to go through. So DK had to be in Karnataka, but the, at least Bupinder Huddain and Ashok Gehlot could have immediately moved to Himachal along with Rajiv Shukla and they could have managed that situation. It is basic politics. We so can you blame, cry here and say, you blame, we are, you, we can cry. who do you blame? We who can, do you blame? Who do you look, blame? We can cry that we don't have democracy. We can cry that we are the underdogs. The fact is, in Karnataka, we we hit the BJP hard. In in Telangana, we are splitting the BRS. We are completely splitting the BRS. Uh, in Andhra Pradesh, those who are against Jagan are now finding options either with the Congress or with Chandra Babu Naidu because BJP doesn't have a future in Andhra. We are doing that there, wherever there's power. You can argue, is it moral or is it moral? We can go into the morality argument. We are doing it there. And I've long argued politics is about being the alpha. We are no longer the alpha in politics. We are, we are living in a vague parallel universe where we think that everybody is going to play by some moralistic rules, which is our which is our version of morality. If morality is so correct for us, why are we doing in Karnataka what, what BJP is doing in Himachal? So morality can't be selective. One. Number two, we have to give back 10 times harder than what the BJP gives us. 10 times harder. And sorry, Dilip, even if it's if it's your brother-in-law, if we have to win, the dharma is we have to win. Hook or cook, Sam, Dam, Dan, we have to win. Are you telling me, are you telling me that we did not know who the people close to Vikram Aditya Ji were? We didn't know if those phone calls were made. We could, mm -hmm. The chief minister, along with Hudda Ji and Gelo Ji, hypothetically, could not have had meal, promised them a ministry ship. There are lots of things. If you're chief minister of a state, you're a king of a state. You can do a lot, but you must be able to be able to do it. One last thing. I think okay. the Congress should really think, one last thing. Why are talented people like Sachin Pilot, um, and etc. not there. And who are the people who are now running the show? I think it should reflect upon it.